are many great toys, activities and games you can play with your dog that's valuable for mental enrichment and that's what I'm going to show you today. Violet is now trying to work out where I've put the treats. And even though this game might look relatively easy for us, she's still having to use her problem-solving abilities to be able to find the food in this intricate toy. Mental stimulation is so important for dogs. I always say that we're a nation of people that have unemployed dogs because these dogs just really don't have much to do. So providing them with games like this really helps them become more mentally enriched, happier. Instead of just putting treats in this toy, you can try feeding your dog's entire meal through it. Rather than just giving your dog its meal in a bowl, put it in a toy like this. It means that your dog is going to spend much longer eating their food, but also is going to expend a lot of mental energy doing so. I always think you should never miss a chance to use times that could be training opportunities or problem solving opportunities or thinking opportunities for your dog. And using meal times and feeding them through interactive toys like this is just a great way to do it. Violet is doing really well with this toy. It's the first time she's seen it, but she's worked it out already. But if your dog is having a difficult time, then allow your dog to see where you put the treat. Allow your dog to eat it and then slowly begin to cover that treat up or the food up, whatever you're using so that she can see it but she can easily push it away with her nose and then when she's got it then you can t cover the hole up entirely to see if she can work it out that the only way she can get the food is by nudging this part of the toy away from the treat underneath. Okay. When we just feed our dogs their meals from a regular dog bowl, we're missing a really major mental enrichment opportunity. So feeding your dog's meal through interactive toys like this is a great way to tire your dog out, allow your dog to use those problem-solving skills and have fun. At the end of the day, that's what teaching and learning is all about. What do you got? When you're introducing your puppy to a toy, play with your pup. Don't just drop the toy in front of it and expect your pup to play with it. Playing with your pup means that you become a positive part of that play experience. You're helping your puppy to problem solve. This game is actually quite difficult for a young dog to do. Play is so important for dogs. If you become part of their play experience, your dog is more likely to listen to you and want to be with you because fun things happen when you're around. Let's see, let's see if we can go get this. Also, it means that your puppy doesn't become possessive over the toys. Get you. Oh, look, get the snake. Get the snake and pull it. Good girl. Go and get it. Get it. Get it. Get that snake. Get that snake. Good. Good. Take that. Good. Take it. Nice. Lovely. Whilst you're playing with your dog as well, you can teach your dog cues. So for example, because there are three snakes in here, when Tess takes a snake, I tell her to take it. And when she drops it, I tell her to drop it. That means she learns. Take it means take an object into your mouth. And drop it means drop that object. Good girl, take it, good. <gasps> drop it, take it, good girl, yes. That's what interactive games and playing is all about.
this is a great toy that you can use for mental enrichment. You can either just put a few treats in there with a bit of peanut butter and allow your dog to work out how to try get that food out. Or you can actually feed some of your dog's meal through it as well. These toys are really adaptable as well. There's many ways that you can use it. Sometimes I'll put some food into it, pack the food in, put the toy in the freezer, and then give the dog the frozen toy. So then it takes even longer for the dog to work out how to get the food out of the toy. When a dog is kept busy like this, it really helps overcome so many behavioral issues that they might have that stem from boredom or anxiety. Lack of physical exercise, lack of mental enrichment is one of the major causes of behavioral problems in dogs. And so being able to make your dog's day just a little bit more exciting by using toys like this, playing activity games, having fun, as well as giving your dog good physical exercise is going to mean that your dog experiences a lot less behavioral issues than they otherwise would. Most dogs are very smart and very intelligent and they need you as their caretaker to give them the mental enrichment they need. Those are just a few games, activities and toys that you can give your dog that's valuable for mental enrichment. I'm Victoria Stilwell for eHow Pets. Thank you.